Hey, it's Jessica Damasa with WTF Health. I'm here at Bayer and G4A signing day, and we are talking to all of the startups. Joining me right now, I have Jean. He is the founder and now leading global, the head of global strategic partnerships for NeuroTracker. I knew I was going to mess it up. I had all the right words, but I got it right, right? Well, you did, except that I'm a co-founder. I, I can't take any credit away from my scientific partner because it's really all about him. He's the one who invented the technology, Professor Jocelyn Faubert. Ah, okay, well let's, Montreal. Yes, well, let's definitely credit him. And you were also the CEO when the startup first started. Okay. Yes, yeah, well, we were a technology transfer from the University of Montreal, and you're starting from scratch, really. And you're taking a product that's been developed, vetted in a, in a lab after 20 years of research, and we had to turn that into a real product, which was interesting because we got an, ap uh, an appeal at that point from Manchester United that wanted to incorporate a, 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 a cognitive training program into their program. So they came to the lab, and they saw it, and they saw that it was a great product. So they allowed us to go to Manchester and in their gym with their, their main team, develop a product over four months. All right, so talk about the product a little bit, because I'm sure everybody now is like, what, Manchester United? Let's hear about this yeah. product. So what is it that you guys do? It's something that monitors well, and improves cognitive health, but unpack does. that for me. Well, so, so cognitive health is a big word. It's a new new sector, really, but the buzzword, I guess, is cognitive function. And, and so what the product does is that it objectively, remember, that's important, measures, monitors, and improves cognitive function. Okay. So what's cognitive function, people yeah, say? Well, co <laughs> cognitive function is is what really um, uh, governs most of your active life it, it's what helps you capture process and interpret you know the events that are occurring around you to help you make decisions on how you should behave and so that's what we train so that means that we affect you know everybody on that human spectrum of going from elite athletes to people that might be suffering from well people that want to have healthy active living or they've had a trauma mm -hmm. a concussion for example or or they've suffered from a neurological disease of some sort. So what exactly is the product? Is it an app? Well, it's a software, okay. uh, and it's a, it's a, it's a soft. So it's a digital it's a digital health product, mm -hmm. which means that it can come through various venues. It could be an app. It could be uh, not. So it's one that's in 3D. So we have to have a 3D component to it. So we have various different types, and there's a lot of technology out there that does that. And, and the, the software is quite it's quite simple. What's remarkable about it is that it's so scientifically based that it's extremely effective. So within three hours of, of transfer, tr of, of actual training, three hours of training, you'll get a sustainable gain. So wow. it's been very popular with, uh, with teams and uh, at, the, at the, the sports level because if you can get a slight competitive advantage, it's, it's money. Here we're dealing with Bayer, which of course it's, a, it's on, the, on the digital side, it's on the, on the therapeutic side. And, um, and so it's a different approach. It's much, you know, you've got regulatory approval and we've, we've always been a science-based company and, you know, with certain commercial events that happened in, in that, the digital health market, we decided to take a step back and go very, go slow. Go Are we going to say the L word? We can say it. We can say lumosity. We can, because that was going to be my, que my next question. It's like, I, for those who might be watching, who are probably in this digital health space, who are like, wait a minute, is this like a lumosity thing? You're not a lumosity. Well, actually, it's funny because when we were dealing with some investors, the first thing they said to us is, oh, you've got to follow the lumosity model because they've got it right. And my partner, the scientist, said, but there's no, they're not evidence-based. And so, you know, can they make those claims? And sure enough, as you know, they got a serious fine, which is reduced and everything. But from our perspective, it made us take a step back. We decided mm -hmm. to walk before we run. And so we spent most of the last 10 years um, absolutely taking on any sale we could. And we've got sales. We've got about 1,000 installations around the world. Uh, a lot of elite clients. I mean, most professional teams. Name some of those off because that's pretty. that was the thing that's really exciting about this is you've got some big names sure. that are attached to you. Well, I mean, obviously, Manchester United was the first one we dealt with. But we've got a lot of German soccer teams. We've got French soccer teams. We have rugby teams. We're with most of the sports institutes where they have a scientific component. Now, ironically, Europe was much more advanced. So our first client, I mean, I can't talk about the military but we're with all of the special ops, I can say, in America. We, we only deal with the good guys, though. <laughs> and, and, uh, and then we're, we're, we're with a lot of the sports teams in, in there as well. But we're a B2B company um, we, because it's, people don't understand the need and because it's a SaaS model, we have to make sure we have engagement. So having that, that B2B who's actually promoting it to their network, it's helped us a lot to have sustainable sales. All right, where are you guys at as far as sales go, as far as like, I mean, how are you funded? Are you raising money? Where are you at? Well, actually, we, we, we did it the hard way. You know, it was a seed capital, friends and family, and uh, we raised uh, quite a bit there from, you know, sophisticated investors, but, uh, but you know, more, uh, you know, high net worth individuals. Uh, we completed a, an A round, I'll call it, uh, about 18 months ago, that allowed me, I was a startup CEO, which is, I'm a corporate lawyer by trade, so it was really about getting over all those difficult hurdles at the beginning, and we brought in more commercial 
commercially minded people uh, who took over and now we're, we're just starting a B round now where we're bringing in actually more smart, I call it smart money. Okay, let's talk about this partnership with Bayer because this is your, your wheelhouse now is the partnerships, right? So what are you looking forward to in terms of this partnership with Bayer? What attracted you to them and vice versa? What attracted them to you? Well, again, there's some pivotal points. We talked about the getting out of the digital health and moving in about 18 months ago or two years ago, we were invited to join the Digital Therapeutics Alliance, which is a new formation of, of companies where they only take on evidence-based companies. And so we were invited to come in, which is a very good sign for us. And that's opened up a lot of doors for us to you know, understand the regulatory process that doesn't, doesn't occur in the digital health market. Whereas when you're in digital therapeutics, you're dealing with specific pathologies, specific diseases, you absolutely know, must be regulated. So that's changed a lot. And um, so for us, having a partnership with Bayer, uh, you know, our model is really to partner. Our technology can apply in so many fields that we need to partner with people that already have a need for it and, and they're in an existing market. So when you get a company like Bayer that says they want to partner with you, obviously it'll attract others. You know, we're dealing with oncology here. It's a cancer treatment solution. There's a lot of other companies doing cancer treatments other than Bayer that could be interested in what we're doing. That's really exciting stuff. Well, best of luck with your new partnership with Bayer. Um, thank you so much for joining us. It's a pleasure to hear about this. So fascinating. Thank you very much. And glad much. you've pivoted from the Lumosity model. <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear that. All right, I'm Jessica DeMassa with WTF Health here at Bayer's G4A Signing Day, talking to the startups. Thanks for joining us.